Hi guys, this is a 2016 Ford Mustang GT. So it's in deep impacts blue. So I'll try and move that bush. So that's the front end, as you might be able to see. I'm sorry I can't get a good shot of it. You'll see a good shot of it when through the thumbnail. Got your LED headlights and look at the indicators. Don't know if you saw. Nut didn't work. Front fog lights, factory front splitter. It's got your 19 inch alloy wheels. <coughs> Stacks of tread left in the tires. The wheels are black. 5 litre badge in, I'll get to what that means when I go under the bonnet. Side LED turn signals. And Mustang Owners Club Australia. That's a good sticker to add to your Mustang. Mustang seal plate. So I've got good room in the front. Brush aluminium here. And hard plastics here. Not only feel good, but look premium. Mustang since 1964. So that's it as you can see. Yep, that handbrake is on. Decent sized glove box. Doors close nicely. Leather door cards. Central locking. Map. So door pockets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six way electric passenger seat. Fuel cap, cap plus refueling, second alloy wheel, stacks of tread left in the tyres, P0 tyres, your combination rear tail lights, dual exhaust, getting to the boot, GT badging. Boot space is basically useless, so I wouldn't recommend putting much stuff in there. No spare wheel. It's got your reversing camera. Rear parking sensors. Front parking sensors too. And side splitters too. That's the bonnet release on this side, guys. That's because it's an American car and America drives on, so the steering wheel for American cars is on the left side. I'll just leave you in that position where I open the bonnet. I am back. So, this is your five litre Coyote V8. The five litre badge means this engine. So the engine has, two, has 306 kilowatts of power and 530 newton meters of torque. I'm not sure of the fuel consumption, so apologies for that. Right. 
Just leave you in that position again while I close the bonnet. Right, I'm back. Good look at it from this angle. That's it as you can see. Right, let's move to the driver's seat and start this up. And also, side splits on this side too. Illuminated Mustang seal plates. It was built April 2016. Came to Australia in June 2016. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8-way electric driver seat. Good look at the trim. It's perforated leather. Electric windows, electric mirrors, central locking. So, place put your keys here, start it, you put your foot on the brake and press this button. I'll stay quiet so you can hear it. The car sounds good, it's got that nice deep rumble to it without it being too noisy. Of course the current one, which is the updated one, is louder. I've reviewed a louder one before, that's the updated version. Right. Here's your central locking. Mirrors folding electronically so it stops people from bumping them in the shops. Automatic headlights and wipers. So, the build quality, what's the build quality like? Good, but not good either. This car's done, so. This car's done 12,574 kilometers. Slow on fuel. It's got 23 kilometers to empty. And here's your revs and your speed. So, engage summary. Great, tire pressure. Steering wheel mounted audio controls. It's got Bluetooth, iPod, USB, AUX, Bluetooth audio streaming. So driving modes. So normal, Sport Plus, race track, snow and wet, and back to normal steering. Normal, sport, comfort, and traction control. Must always turn that off in any performance car, guys. So it's controlled through those buttons there. Has it? 
So they work. Cigarette lighter and your USB plug. It's got your six speed automatic transmission. Two decent sized cup holders. Here's your center console. USB and SD card for the sat nav. Don't know what this is. Leather stitch handbrake. Got your level steering wheel and cruise control. That's the they have a button to go for your information there. So um so it's got free air vents. So infotainment system and in, so infotainment system I'll, I'll get an example of the sound system if you'll let me Right with voice control. Please say a command. FM. Oh. Won't worry about it, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why it's doing it. I'll try it again when I'm at the end of the infotainment system bit. Let's try navigation. Please say a command. I am hungry. And where would you like to search? Nearby, along your route, near your destination, in a suburb, or in a city? In a suburb. In Queensland, say the suburb or city name. Gimpy. Sorry, say just the suburb or city name. You can also say spell suburb or spell city. Spell city. In Queensland, spell the first few letters of the suburb or city. B R I Say a line number, like line one for example, or continue spelling to narrow down the list. You can also say correct that or clear. Clear. Starting again. G Y M P I E. Say a line number, like line one for example, or continue spelling to narrow down the list. You can also say correct that or clear. Correct that. Starting again. No. So. That's a map. So you can zoom in and out. View. So, I'm trying, trying to in a destination. Please say a command. Find an address. Try saying your device name like phone or USB. You can also say navigation or climate. Main menu. Say a command. Navigation. Navigation. Say a command. Find an address. 
to get started, say destination address, destination intersection or destination point of interest. Destination. Destination, say address, intersection or point of interest. Address. In Queensland, say street address, including the suburb or city. 11 Stuart Crescent, Gympie. Enter street. When ready, press the voice button and then say, set as destination, set as waypoint, or say, change something. Set as destination. Setting destination. You'll tell me how many kilometers I have and what time I'll get there and how long I have and directions are there. Right, you can cancel the route. Please say a command. Cancel route. Are you sure you want to cancel the route? Yes. Canceling route. So you can cancel the route. Climate. So I'm on low and my passenger is on 21. Dual and fan speed direction of air down here too. It's got Houston and ventilated front seats. Direction of air, fan speed, air circulation, engine start stop, the switch gear feels European, European in texture. And it's got Apple CarPlay and Android also as well. AM FM radio, DAB digital radio. So, boot button, lock and unlock. LED lighting in the door handles. And what else does it have? It's got your electrochromatic auto dimming reading mirror. Vanity mirror, so good if your passenger is doing her lipstick. Black headliner, black interior trims, paddle shifter, so up and down. Right, let's shut it off. Here are your alloy face pedals, as you can see. And also, this car is currently reading 12,574 kilometres. So extremely low kilometres for a five and a half year old vehicle. Mm. So, this is Jordan's car reviews, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and tap the notification bell, and please also like and share, and I'm almost at 800 subscribers, and I have something planned for 800 subscribers. So, please also like and share, and help me get to 1,000 subs, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.